Today I'm going to show you how I rig my models without actually rigging, so no armatures. And this will be useful if you're trying to make your own miniatures like these out of one single model. Uh, but you would not use this if you're trying to animate. So this is strictly for those people that want to make their own miniatures in different poses like these. Okay, so with that out of the way, this is like a typical uh, base model that I have. I make everything in different uh, like objects, so you know they're all like separate like this. Um, that just makes it easier for me to like add or subtract uh, different things to make to make different models, so that I'm not starting over every time. So like I have this like base skeleton underneath. Um, so I don't have to like go back and like make this skeleton ever again, okay? So there are two core concepts you need to understand, okay? Every object has an origin, a center point, if you will. And when you press R to rotate, it'll rotate around that center point. So the first thing we need to do is change that origin point um, to where we want that par particular object to rotate. For example, this jaw, we want it to rotate not here, but here. So all we have to do is press control period and uh, press G to move, and then we can move the origin to where we want it to. So we're gonna move that here. So until we press control period again, we are still in this like moving the origin mode. So we are actually gonna do do that for the skull as well. And we want to move the pivot point here where the skull meets the like the neck, okay? Okay, so just to show you why we do this, now when I press uh, rotate, it'll rotate around like where the neck meets the, the skull. And this, when we rotate it, uh, it'll look like the mouth is moving. So this is where the second thing you need to know uh, comes into play, and that is parenting. So when we move this skull, we want the jaw and the helmet to move with it. So we're gonna click the helmet, and while holding down shift, click the jaw, and then we're gonna click the skull last. And then to parent it, we're gonna press Control P, and then set parent to object. Now when we move the skull, uh, the helmet and the jaw will move with it. So now that's we're pretty much done with uh, posing our, uh, our head. So you can press R to rotate. You could turn the head. Move the mouth. Okay, you get it. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's do the arms next. So we're gonna press control period, and then we're gonna press G to move it to around here. And then we're gonna press numpad three to go into side view and then move it around there. Okay, let's do the same thing. We want the pivot point to be about there, there. Um, Okay, I'm gonna leave the hands for now because that is a little more complicated. Um, but yeah, let's do the the parenting, okay? So here I actually have a little like elbow bone. So we're gonna do this, holding shift, click this, click the little leather strap and the shoulder pad and then click the arm, the upper part of the arm last, okay? We're gonna do control P and then set parent to object. So now, when we move this, uh, the whole arm moves. And we could still, like, if we wanted to, like, uh, adjust these. Okay, so let's say we wanted to, it to look like, you know, this. Uh, once we adjust that, it'll still, like, stay uh, consistent with the upper arm. Okay, but let's move that back here. Oh, just to show you real quick, like, how it pivots on the elbow. Okay, I'm gonna change this up a little bit and show you how I did the hands. 
Okay, so here we have the hand, and we're gonna make it so that each finger will be completely like customizable, like you know, as as far as like articulation goes. Okay, so you can make a fist, you can make a finger like pointing, you can make it do the peace sign, whatever you want. Flip somebody off. And to do that, it's gonna require a lot of tedious work, but I'm gonna show you real quick how I do that. Let's isolate this real quick. And to do that, um, I'm just gonna show you how I set this up, okay? So we are going to move all of the origin points, so control period to where we want the that part of the finger to bend. Okay, so we do it here, and this whole like cluster is is just one object, just to make my life a little easier. And the thumb is gonna be a little trickier because I didn't make it completely straight, but that looks fine. But yeah, I'm just doing front view and then changing it in side view, and then I'm gonna move this as well. Go here. Uh, to about there, okay? Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we can always move things around later, okay? Um, so how we are going to do this, we have to go like outside in. So we're gonna click this, hold shift, click this, and then we're gonna parent that. We're gonna click this part, click this, parent that, and then click this, click this and then parent that, and then do the same thing right here. So this, this, control P, parent to object, this, this, control P, parent to object. So now when we move this, and when we move this, uh, the whole thing moves, right? Um, but yeah, let's go back to this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're just gonna duplicate it, so Shift D, and then that's our middle finger. We can kind of maybe make it a little larger. Shift D, make it a little smaller, maybe rotate it. Maybe rotate it. Shift D again, maybe make it a little smaller and then make sure it's all kind of lined up here. That's probably fine. Uh, yeah, so now instead of having to do all the individual like parenting and whatnot we can just do this and you do have to kind of um like if you're trying to pose this it's it's hard to move things perfectly when you're in a 3d space so you kind of just do your best to make this work let's say you know we have that's there's our peace sign maybe you just you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do all the possible poses you can pull off but you know there's an example of a peace sign um but yeah you're gonna have to just move the camera around Ooh and play with it a little bit just just to make sure oh, i'm pretty sure that was off just to make sure you know it's right like see that's so wrong so we'll just do this okay so there we have kind of a fist right and that's where i want things to be so let's get the rest of our Thing back and then we're just gonna you know let's go like this pose it and then just connect it to the best of our ability but oh my goodness camera was all so off okay and then we're just going to connect it to the best of our ability to the arm like so okay and then last thing we're going to have to do is parent this to this so control p and parent 
So now the whole arm is done. But yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit around and do the poses, but you get the idea. Okay? Okay. And again to avoid the tedium of having to do all of that on this side as well. Um I'm just gonna show you real quick how I would how I would do it. Okay, so delete that. We're gonna take this whole arm and then we're gonna duplicate it. So shift D. Okay, and then put it around here. And now we're gonna scale it on the X by negative one. And that wasn't supposed to work as well. It it's supposed to like not work, okay? So and you see how it's like not exactly uh, like the same as its mirror side. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna shift D duplicate it and then we're gonna press control A and uh, apply the rotation, okay? And what that does is it makes this straight. So now when we go to scale it on the X by negative one, it's more of a perfect uh, mirror, okay? And and all of our parenting and all the pivot points are still intact, okay? Uh, but at this point, you, you might wanna apply the scale as well because um, it probably won't affect your model too much, but it's, it's like negative one and that might cause problems later. So apply the scale and then you won't have any issues with that, okay? Um, I'm not gonna do the legs cause the legs are pretty much the same, same thing. Um, except I will show you the toes, okay? So I made the, these toes a cluster because most of us human beings can't move our toes individually. So we're just gonna move the pivot point around here. And then we'll move this pivot point here for the ankle. Okay, press control period to go into regular. And then we're gonna do this, this, uh, parent that, and then we'll parent the ankle part to the leg. Okay, so we have this. So this is useful if you want to make him go on his like tippy toes, you know, something, something like that. Or you want to have them like jump up, like floating or something. Okay. Okay. So when it's, when all is said and done, your model should be like this, where everything is parented to the center. Um, but like here, I have kind of like a ab crunch thing going on. Um, but yeah, you can, you can pose your model in different ways. And then once you pose your model, there will have to be kind of like a cleanup phase um, cleanup slash finalization phase, but we won't go that go into that today. Um, but yeah, I hope this has given you some insight on how to pose your models without uh, the need for an armature, so that you can take a model that you made that looks like this and turn it into several different models like these. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.